I'm Evie. I'm Ray, and welcome to the Pantheon of M. And today we are talking about Mortal Kombat, Scorpion's Kombat. Revenge. Scorpion's Revenge, yes. From Legends. Uh, the, su- the sequel will be out very soon. It's called Battle of the Realms, but today we're talking about the first one. This one is an origin story for Scorpion. So, Evie, take it away. This mm-hmm. story is about Scorpion, mm-hmm. um, one of the characters in Mortal Kombat. Right. Um, go ahead, Ray. Hanzo Asashi uh, is a is a good man. He comes from a he is actually a, a guy who a family man who was done wrong. We see what, how he was done wrong, and we sympathize with his backstory. And then mm-hmm. when he comes back, you know, it's a different, it's something completely else. And he's a he's a different kind of character. But um, they focus on the reasoning why he is. What, where it came from and where that rage comes from. And I think that was one of the, the highlights for me when I saw this. And his drive to avenge is birth from tragedy. And that's really interesting uh, from that. I mean, it, the, it, the level is way, it's way, it's up, it's, it's 11 or 15 or 28. Who knows where that's from? But like, it's, 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 it's crazy how this goes. But it's Scorpion's story. So it's Scorpion's perspective on the tournament. So that's how I looked at it. And for you? Um, from what I know about it, yeah, it was pretty, pretty violent. Mm-hmm. You know, arms were being pulled off and this and that. Um, yeah, it, yeah. Um, yeah, although I don't, don't know that that much about um, Scorpion, mm-hmm. what I saw was really, 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 really good. You know, when you're like, that's, yeah. I, yeah, I wouldn't. It was good, but I wouldn't like my. Yeah, this is a warning. I wouldn't lo- want my kid to to um, to watch it. Mm-hmm. I think it's rated yeah. R. I think, R. I think okay. this is rated. I think it's rated R for, and that's for that reason only. So I think it's safe. Right. So if your kids watched it, watch this movie. Yeah. Shame on you. Um, <laughs> this is this is yeah. Strictly, uh, uh, this is this is for adults. Um, yeah. And, yeah. So yeah. So what I saw, it was. It was good, but um, viewer discretion advised. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, it was. Wow. Anyway, mm-hmm. and other than other than that, um, it was interesting. Was the story hard for you to follow? Yeah, it was very hard for me to follow. Very hard for me to follow. You know, I thought it would be like kid-like but no it was very hard for me to follow yeah this is a very adult and that's where i think the reason why they went radar is because now they could tell an adult story uh, yeah whereas i think yeah i think the 95 version was more for it was pg so right, it, yeah. it told to like young young kids young adults mm-hmm. even like nine-year-olds this is radar so therefore it's it's going to be catering mm-hmm. on a level that is for adults uh what i find interesting which i know you don't know is that the story i mean we know from the movies and from whatever it's like sub-zero and scorpion are bitter enemies the clans are Mm -hmm. they're 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 like polar opposites one like one hits the other one we all know that that's from Mm -hmm. the get-go whatever is after deadly alliance i forgot what it is which is the fifth or sixth one we learned that quan chi is disguised himself as sub-zero and he's the one that kills uh, Scorpion's family. Oh, okay. That reveal is given to us in this movie. So this elevates the complex complexity of this game, because you and I grew up watching. Okay, Sub Zero, Scorpion, enemies. Scorp- Sub Zero kills Scorpion's family, and he becomes mm-hmm. one's vengeance. Mm-hmm. Simple. That that's that was what we learned about it. That's the story, mm-hmm. as far as we know. They complicated the story by giving you that no Sub Zero uh, was framed. Quan she sets him up. One of the key violent sequences, I think the top one, is the beginning. When uh, he, when Hanzo Sashi, which is like before he becomes Scorpion, when he's still human, when the Lin Kuei invades his house and he, and he goes blood, he sees literally blood red and he goes after the soldiers mm. and cuts them up, like gives wow. them, literally cutting them down. In yeah, that was rough. <laughs> yeah. From that, what I remember, yeah. That was like... He saw red, and that's all he saw. And then mm. they're gonna see red too, and it's, it's gonna be their own redness coming out. Coming yeah. Out. 
So yeah, like, man. So like, yeah. How how we how did you process that? Like, how what was like what was going through your mind when you saw that? I was thinking, whoa, uh, this is kind of violent. This is not. This is not Mister Rogers. <laughs> right. You know, uh, yeah, you know, um, it's pretty violent. Well, of course it is rated R. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, really well done. But yeah, um, yeah, you know, uh, viewer discretion, although it was well done, mm -hmm. I don't think I could see like the whole thing. I mean, obviously it caught your attention. I mean, that's what woke you up. If yeah. you were sleeping, that, that sequence yeah. like made you like, it, it, mm -hmm. it opened your eyes the blinders are off this is a different world right this is this is exactly it. this is it um yeah so either it's it's this one is, is what you call polarizing because either you will like it or you or just you won't. No, you won't right and that that right. that sequence alone sets, sets sets the tone for you though i will right. say that from that point on it doesn't get that violent there's a scene where he goes to hell hell realm which is another realm and his body gets twisted up in one sequence oh, okay which is probably wow. the, this, the second part that's a little that's maybe a little dark wow. um okay. but besides that is it, the movie never goes that depth again i think it's just depth for the shock again. value oh okay and i wow. think it's from that point on it's a little bit more tamer you know mm. um but okay so for you i mean obviously that's not a selling point but uh, in terms of um getting the point across uh from one to ten how would you how would you write that um one to ten, I would say maybe five, six. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, I've seen worse, and that that one's not not as I, yeah, not as violent as I thought. Was it comical? You think it was, or was it was it? You think it was like you think because it's up, it's over the top, like violent. Yeah, was, yeah. Was, was it? I know it's played for for it was played dramatically, but was it comical right. or was it dramatic for you? I think it was dramatic for me, like on the way to comical. But mm -hmm. yeah, it was um, not comical for me at all. Like mm -hmm. I, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, it's um, yeah, that was one of the first um, scenes I've ever seen like that. Okay, you know, which is yeah. And anyway, you know, it 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 was there. It was there. As far as the gaming is concerned, what is the draw for you? I just wanted to see how bad they do or how how violent it is. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm just curious. I probably won't watch the whole thing or whatever. Right. I just wanted to see, like, how near they could get, which I guess is kind of bad for me. Yeah. You know? But anyway, yeah. I'm just fascinated. It's not the violence. I don't like the violence. I'm just fascinated by the creativity of, like, like you have all these scorpions that come out of nowhere and the planet goes black. Oh, what? okay. You know, like this is like you have, or, the, or like he, he hits this guy into the sky, he falls down and his windmills no. of cooks come down, which is in itself kind of gory. And I don't like to see that. Like that kind of yeah, okay. chamber horror is kind of not for me. Like, like Hellraiser yeah. is a movie that I don't really prescribe to. The, the part that I like is just reading the story at the end. Like how, what mm -hmm. happens at the end, just that story, oh, okay. reading, reading, reading the ending. Those were my highlights. Everything else I didn't really care about. Like, okay. I'm just, just learning about the character. If they won a mm -hmm. tournament, what, what would be their life after the fact? Just, you know, it's like winning the lottery. If I won the lottery, I would do this, this, and this. Whereas okay. with them, I won the tournament. I am now the greatest martial artist in the world, Johnny Cage, mm -hmm. you know, or, you know, or something really strange like that. So reading those little sub stories kind of gives you some backstory of those characters. You know, oh, that, okay. that was what drew me to it. And the fatalities, because I, if you've never seen them before, you're like, oh, wow, that's pretty cool. Mind you, I mean, looking back at the first Mortal Kombat, you know, like it's, you know, Kano pulling out a heart, mm -hmm. Sub-Zero taking out your head was a little, mm -hmm. you know, at the time, okay. it was super graphic, and it was like, your parents were upset about it, but like, it was sort of... Okay. Um, okay. So, I mean, we've come a long way. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe not for the better, but it have right. come a long way. Um, okay. You know, uh, I think with an animation... Uh, you can really marry the idea of the fatalities, whereas with live mm. action you can't go that that far. You have to mm. you have to base it ground in reality. But with, okay. but with an animation, you can really go full out, you know, and yeah. show a fatality and give it give it give it the actual um, mm -hmm. of what the creators wanted to do.
and mm -hmm. yeah, and unfortunately, to, to the to its detriment, it can be too violent. And I agree with that 100. Um, yeah. But to see an origin of where it comes from, giving an explanation towards it, I appreciate the understanding of it. And mm. okay. so, 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 so as I was mentioning before, reading the reading the reading the finale was something that I always enjoyed doing. Oh, okay, cool. Um, in the game, even talk about the like, was there a player that you liked to play, or a game that you liked to watch, or a character that you just liked in general? Um, Ray, what the guy with the Raiden? Is there yeah. somebody named? Yeah, Raiden. yeah, Raiden. Actually, I like the hat and everything, mm -hmm. and how you could like. Um, you know, um, uh, uh, throw the hat and then it would cut off the guy's head or whatever. Oh, okay. I, was, I think it was Kung Lao. Yeah. Kung Lao. Yeah. 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 I liked him for some reason, although mm -hmm. I shouldn't have, but anyway. No, it's just, you it's know, just it, cute. Yeah. I just liked it. I liked it too. I like Raiden because he had that Superman, like, yeah, push you across the room like Superman and he had the lightning mm -hmm. bolts. I mean, that was kind of cheesy back then, but it was, it was sort of fun. I mean, Street yeah, Fighter exactly. and, and, uh, and, Mortal Kombat were the mm. hype back then. It's I guess yeah. they're still pretty hyped now. Um, you know, certain games that they fell down, like Killer Instinct, which was a game that we used to play back in the day. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, which had, which had the first big combos. Uh, it mm -hmm. didn't do too well, but uh, they yeah. kind of they married it later on. It married later. It married later on in the game system. So okay. there there were things in it that that carried on, but uh, in general, yeah, the 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 movie isn't all that great. The action yeah. sequences when they did have it going on was was amazing. The comedy for me was Johnny Cage on the run from mm. Baraka. Um, yeah, the the side characters they were side characters. It's about it wasn't about the tournament, but it was it, it was looking at Scorpion's perspective mm -hmm. during the tournament. Where in the '95 movie he was he was a villain. They look at him yeah. as a hero who they turn to for help. Yeah, change the odds. Uh, mm -hmm. And and they give him they gave him a hero a hero heroic I can't say the word heroic a hero's heroic spin. thank you okay. a hero spin to this and mm -hmm. uh, that's something you, you never got from the game and you definitely never got from the ninety five movie so they kind of give you that uh, especially if you're a fan of the Scorpion character mm -hmm. um, yeah they give you a reason to cheer for him you know yeah so cool okay well, so I'm trying to put on a positive spin so with my positive spin there you go. Um, okay but we Thanks agree to disagree for... like some parts of it yeah uh I, I agree like it's just too crazy and but there's yeah. some parts of it i do think it for raid r you, you get what you're, you're getting what you uh requested and that's for mm -hmm. non-child based an adult perspective on the violence mm -hmm. but a mature mm -hmm. perspective but and they're giving they're giving you a reason why he's doing what he's doing and where it came mm -hmm. from so if you if oh that's cool with, if you're on board with that understanding of the character the psychology of the character and then where it's coming from then you could then you could be mm. a little bit more on board with the violence because you understand where it's coming from and it's, it's directed That's at something specifically it's not a, it's not a mindless violence it's no, a focused violence and right. there is an end game towards it so if you understand the nature of it then you can under, you can appreciate um its follow-through where if it was okay. if it was just a, a blank slate of violence then I agree with you uh, wholeheartedly that it's not it's not worth watching, but mm. there's a story and uh, and uh, and it's a radar, so they're able to tell a story at a mature mm. level and and like sure. yeah. it's not for it's not for kids and uh, mm. and rightfully so. All right. So okay, cool. On that note, I am Ray. Now I'm Epi. We'll talk to you next week. Take care. Thank you, Ray. <laughs>